Boom Bust Tool. This is the gold standard of every tool that we have on Stochastic.com. This is going to be the first place that I believe everyone should go when they're trying to evaluate a slate because this is going to have all of the information you're looking for. And I'm going to scroll down right now. Name, team, position, salary, projection. We don't have to dig too much into that. You guys should know what all of that stuff means. Standard deviation. We want to know how much wiggle room is there on both sides of the projection? So you see Nikola Jokic projected for 58, standard deviation of 10. Let's you know, you know, pretty quickly you can glance and see like, okay, 48 to 68. If you want to just plus one on one side, plus one on the other side, gives you a decent range. Stealing, next column over, 65 for Nikola Jokic. If I scroll up, ceiling represents 75th percentile outcome. Floor, if I scroll up, 25th percentile outcome and basically uh, we're looking at a slightly different number here the percentiles are a little different but if you want to go one standard deviation to one side ceiling one to floor that's basically what we're showing for you we want to show you the range of outcomes if Nikola Jokic goes for 51 that's probably not going to be great if he goes for 65 like in his ceiling column that's going to be pretty good for you at 10k that little combination is fantastic but we can get into percentages and that's what the standard deviation is really trying to show you. Bust percentage and boom percentage. Now, as I scroll up, you can see what this is. Boom percentage is going to be how frequently this player hits 5x plus 10 fantasy points. So 5x is going to mean salary. In this case for Nikola Jokic, 5x at 10k is 50 fantasy points plus another 10. 5x plus 10. So 50 plus 10 gets you to 60. How frequently will Nikola Jokic hit 60 fantasy? The columns you're really looking for are boom percentage and bust percentage. Now, boom is going to be something resembling 5X. On a two game slate, it's not going to be 5X. On a bigger slate, it's going to be maybe even a little bit bigger than that. But you're looking for some sort of metric that shows you value. If it were 5x plus 10, which is what it says in the boom percentage now, for Nikola Jokic, you would want to know how frequently he goes over 60 fantasy points. That would be 50 plus another 10. Now, that's not what we're looking for here because that number is going to be smaller on a two-game slate. In this case, Nikola Jokic is 85% to go some sort of x plus boom. 85%. The most likely person on the slate to crest what they're looking for out of salary. Steph Curry is at 61%. AD is at 61%. Just in general, if you're not looking at ownership or optimal rates, a boom percentage is just going to tell you how good is this guy going to be relative to his salary. Meanwhile, bust, sort of the opposite. How frequently will someone go under 5X in fantasy points? Nikola Jokic, 9%. So that's basically saying there's a 9% chance that Nikola Jokic scores less than 50 fantasy points. That is 5X his salary. 24% for Curry, 24% for Davis. That's how you know how good someone like Nikola Jokic is in this spot. Only a 9% chance to go for less than 50, an 85% chance to boom. These two columns are my favorite two columns to look at. You have ownership on here, which you can see on our ownership table or just see it here for reference sake. And then when a slate is normally happening, we're, I'm recording this video on October 15th. We don't have basketball for another week and a half. We will give you a percentage of how optimal that player is. How frequently does that player in our simulations show up in the optimal lineup? You can compare optimal percentage to ownership percentage. That's what's going to show you leverage. Another column that is blank for right now, but won't be blank during the season. Optimal minus ownership, if it's positive, that guy's going to look a little under-owned. Optimal minus ownership negative, that guy's probably going to be a little over-owned. Now, that doesn't mean you should play under-owned guys and shouldn't play over-owned guys, but it is a quick distinction to look and see, maybe this guy's getting a little bit more love than he should be. This table, boom bust. This is the first place you should go anytime you're looking at a slate.